What's up Jackals, I'm Simon and today we'll take a look how to make video file sizes small while keeping the quality in DaVinci Resolve. Now well, let's get digital. When you have the project done, you'll want to export it, go to the delivery page and inside here you'll have some changes to do. Give the file a name, set the location and change the format. You can use MP4 or QuickTime. The only thing that you need to do is change the codec so that it's H.264. And then to get the smallest file size, you'll change the quality. The lower the quality, the lower the file size. You can do this automatically by choosing one of the presets, or you can also restrict it by typing in kilobytes. By default, this is set to 80,000. If you use the MP4 format, this will be the output file, but if you use the QuickTime, the .mov will be the output file. But the size will be the same. I made the Fiverr gig and I needed a promotional video. They have a video limit of up to 75 seconds and 50 megabytes. So I made a quick video of 49 seconds. And let's see what the output file size is for. So using the presets from least to best, and I did a couple of examples with custom from 2000 to 160,000 kilobits. If we take a look at the file sizes, we can see that this one at around 10,000 kilobits is the same as this one, the least. Then this one at 20,000 is similar to this one. Then this one is similar to this one. And for the last one, maybe this one is similar to this one. Now how can you calculate the bitrate if you're limited by the file size, like with 5 is 50 megabytes? Let's take a look. So now let's say that instead of 50 megabytes, I'm limited to 40. This would mean that the bitrate would be between 4000 and 7000. But what would be the exact value that I need? Let's calculate it. So I need to take the final file size, which is 40 megabytes. I need to multiply this by 8 to get megabits. And I need to multiply it by 1024 to get kilobits. So this is how many kilobits we have, but now we have to divide it by the length of the video, which in this case is 49 seconds. And we get kilobits per second. So about 6700, but because we'll be using less than 10,000 kilobits per second, let me just show you what you have to do. So if you take a look at this one, which is 2000, it's actually 500 kilobits more. This one with 4000, it's actually 800 kilobits more. This one with 7000, it's 900 kilobits more and this one with 8000 it's almost 1000 kilobits more so in this case i would actually round it down by 700 and just use 6000 kilobits and let's do that and the output should be 6.5 kilobits so the video is done let's see how i did it's just a bit too big from what i calculated let's see what the actual bitrate is 6800 instead of the 6000 that I've put in. So I'd actually need to lower this by another 100 to 200 kilobits. But now let's take a look at the actual quality. This is the 2000. I'll just skip a little bit where the artifacts are visible. You should be able to see some artifacting with different shading, but I don't know how the YouTube algorithm will deal with this. Let's take a look at the 4000 kilobits. We will still have some artifacting. Then this version with the 30 megabyte limit, the artifacting is still visible. Then we have the 7000 version. The artifacting is still visible in this version, but it's not as noticeable. Then we have the 8000 version. We still have some artifacting in this one as well. Then we have the 10,000 version, which is close to the lowest preset. We have some artifacting in this one. Let's take a look at the least preset. So this one too does have artifacting. Let's take a look at this one, 20,000. Maybe tiny bit of artifacting. So this one is 15,000. This one should be about 20,000. So it also has a little bit of artifacting. And this is 40,000. Maybe just a tiny bit, but I think this one is good enough. And this one is 30,000. Let's see how this one did. 
I think that all of the built-in quality presets are fine, but if you need to use a quality preset of less than 10,000 kilobits per second, then you can use a manual setting, but I wouldn't go below 4,000 kilobits per second. This video was exported at 4,000 kilobits per second, and I think it looks just fine. But this will also depend on the platform that you upload to, and what device you watch the video on. Now let me just show you the comparison between the file size and the quality. The best mode is 245 megabytes, and the quality of the video that you just watched is at 4K, 28.8 megabytes. If we divide this, we get 8.5 times smaller file size and a decent quality. But let's see what the difference is between the file size if you use the best or the high quality. So 244 divided by 175. So the difference is almost 40%. And I didn't really see any difference between the quality of this preset, the highest and the best. So if you want the best quality and you can't see the difference between the high and the best quality preset, just choose the high quality preset. This means that you will save 30% on disk space and you will also upload faster because the file size will be smaller. And that's how you can save on the file size while keeping the quality as high as possible. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more DaVinci Resolve content and hit the bell notification icon so don't miss my next video. I'm Simon and until next time Jackals, keep it digital.